Welcome back to the Greensboro Science Center Summer Olympics. Today's event, gymnastics, featuring our gibbons and our lemurs. Before the event takes place, we're going to have a little talk with Keeper Miranda and Keeper Megan to get to know our athletes a little bit better. We are here with Keeper Megan and she is going to tell us a little bit about lemurs. First, where are these guys native to? So uh, lemurs are native to Madagascar, which is a pretty big island off the coast of Africa. And that's the only place that you should be finding them out in there in the wild. And there are a little over 100 species of lemurs just on Madagascar. That's awesome. And we see a lot of kind of jumping and leaping with these guys. Where do they live? Do they live on the ground or in the trees? So most lemur species will be found only in trees, mostly in trees. They might come down to the ground a little bit. Uh, Ring-tailed lemurs are actually a little bit of the exception because they will spend a lot of time on the ground um, as well as up in the trees. So they're all over the place. And when it comes to their athleticism, if you were to put lemurs up against gibbons, who do you think would be the winner? Ooh, I guess it would depend on what they're doing. So gibbons don't spend, uh, well, they spend a lot more time swinging around in the trees. So I think if they're up in the trees or up somewhere high, gibbons might be able to uh, outpace the lemurs here. Um, but these guys are fantastic jumpers. Uh, they're pretty good at jumping from spot to spot to spot. So. I feel like if they were able to hop around, the lemurs might have an advantage. So Megan, when it comes to their vertical ascent, about how high can these guys jump in a single leap? So it's pretty impressive considering how small they are, but vertically they can jump almost 10 feet. So well over our heads. <laughs> Simply amazing. I can't wait to see them in action. All right, so we're here with Keeper Miranda and she's going to tell us a little bit about our Javan Gibbons. Who do we have here? So we have a family group of Javan Gibbons, also known as Silvery Gibbons for their color. So right here behind us, we have Bella. She's the mom. Up top, we have Duke. He's their son. Their daughter, Leela's on this rope here. And then dad, Leon, is headed that way. Awesome. And as we can see, these guys are quite the athletes. What does it take to fuel their bodies? <laughs> so they basically get a giant salad. Um, they get lots of fruits and veggies. There are some greens in here. Um, today they're getting mealworms, which is a special treat for them. They actually eat a lot of insects in the wild. Uh, they also have, if I can find one, a little biscuit down here that is made for primates. But every day they have this size bucket filled to the top and we feed that out about three to four times a day. So they have super long arms. Um, you wouldn't really see them on the ground like this, like they're eating here. They're gonna spend most of their time in the tree. So that's why they have those really long arms. They do something called brachiation, which is a hand over hand motion, allows them to move pretty quickly through the trees. You notice they have no tail as well. A lot of people think they're monkeys. They're actually apes, uh, lesser apes due to their size. Um, so that's a common misconception about them. They're just really tiny. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Miranda, for joining us today, and we'll get to the competition. Welcome to the 2021 gymnastics event here at the Greensboro Science Center. Our gibbons are getting ready for the performance now, shaking it all out, and here we go, getting down our bar routine. Lovely spins, lovely turns here. Oh, oh, it looks like we're going into a full-on strength hold. Another clean dismount, beautiful. Going on to the instant replay. Look at those feet, that footwork, that hold, the grace, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely beautiful. Oh, and here we go again, another great hold, beautiful dismount here, so clean. Love those long lines, very graceful. Another move, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful by our Gibbons here. Oh, and here we go, a clean dismount right off the side. That's a good five foot drop, don't know if I could do that. Let's go to our judges. And here we are going into our lemur beam routine. They've come out quite hard this year. They're working very hard on their beam. Oh, and now we're moving on to our floor routine. Notice that high aerial, that switch leap. Beautiful presentation there with those long lines, those bouncing feet. Gotta love those tails. Oh, that was fast. How about an instant replay? All right, so we got another switch lead into some parkour off the rock. And then we're jumping onto our platform. Beautiful. Oh, another nice shot there. Oh, and here we go with our final switch lead onto our platform. Beautiful presentation. Judges?
Well, that was a really close one, folks, but our judges have weighed in and the winner is the Gibbons. Thank you so much for joining us here at the 2021 Summer Olympics at the Greensboro Science Center. Stay tuned for more posts, but this will be our last video for the season.